Good day everyone. In this video, I would like to show a FACO flip and chop technique done by one resident from UST Science Malaysia operating on an extreme myopic patient. This resident has completed his 25th FACO while recording this video. Paracentesis wound is made using 15 degree and vision blue is injected through the paracentesis wound. Then subsequently, infracameral lignocan is injected and flush out the vision blue. Viscoelastic is injected to reform the AC. Main incision is made using 2.75mm blade and anterior capsulorexis is performed using a cystotome to make an incision and create a flap. Proceed by using the capsulorexis forceps to complete the CCC with a size of at least 5mm to 5.5mm to adequately to flip out the nucleus. As you can see from here as well, the pupil is well dilated. This patient is having a refractive error of minus 13 with the exit length of 30 mm. So the CCC is completed. Now hydro dissections of the lens nucleus to flip out the nucleus. So we we'll go to the 8 o'clock regions and do a gentle hydro dissections and followed by 4 o'clock and you can see from here the nucleus is already flipped out from the CCC to the anterior chamber. This is an illustration of cross-sectional view where hydro dissection is done beneath the anterior capsule and when sufficient water is accumulated, the lens nucleus can be flipped out from the back then followed by horizontal fecal chop. We make another replay to see gentle hydro dissection at the 8 o'clock regions followed by 4 o'clock region and this will cause the nucleus to be flipped out from the back. More visco is placed posterior to the flip nucleus and also push down the uh, anterior capsule Next, we will proceed with horizontal fecal chop without any sculpting of the lens nucleus. So, fecal probe is entered to the uh, emulsy 5 into the nucleus and then hold with the vacuum at the step 2 and while putting the second instrument back of the nucleus to chop it and continue with fecal emulsification of the nucleus. And then further chopping of the nucleus is performed into small, smaller pieces at the same time while holding the nucleus up into at the pupillary plane and then slowly em emulsify the nucleus. This can actually reduce the fecal power use in uh, emulsifying the nucleus. So this is a high extreme myopic patient. So low bottle height is used uh, and then slowly gentle of fecal emulsification is performed while taking care of the back because of the back is a large back and floppy. So we maintain it on the step 2 and step 3 between that. Okay, and then the nucleus has been emulsified. Cortical matter is removed by expirations. Next, viscoelastic is injected to the back. Intraocular lens is implanted to the back. This is an in intraocular lens with a power diopter of plus 6.0 diopter. And then proceed with viscoelastic remover. Once the viscoelastic is removed, then the wound is hydrated to make sure there is no leakage and milestone given and wound check at the end of the surgery. 
tips for flipping a lens nucleus. Step 1. Make sure they have adequate size of anterior capsule axis, at least 5 to 5.5. Step 2. Slow hydro dissections at 4 and 8 o'clock region. And step 3. Repeat step 2 again if fail to flip the nucleus in a single attempt. Lastly, inject because viscoelastic posterior to the flipped nucleus. We have a few examples of flipping the nucleus and proceed with chop. So hydro dissection is done at 8 o'clock, proceed with 4 o'clock. You can see from here the nucleus is already flipped out. And this is done in an extreme myopic patient with an axial length of 30 mm. The next case, this is a high myopic patient with axial length of 27 mm. Hydro dissection is done at 8 o'clock region, say, and then proceed with 4 o'clock region. Here, the nucleus haven't flipped out, and then just repeat the steps to do hydro dissection at 8 o'clock region. And now you can see that the nucleus is already flipped out, and more viscoelastic is placed posterior to the flipped nucleus. So, this is a case of fish endothelial dystrophy. And the uh, hydro dissection is done at 8 o'clock region and 4 o'clock region to flip out the nucleus. Viscoelastic is injected posterior to the flipped nucleus and center of the anterior chamber to protect the corner endothelium while proceed with the horizontal fecal chop. This flip and chop technique can be performed in soft cataract, weak zonules, extreme myopia, and low endothelial cell count. This requires normal anterior, anterior chamber depth, adequate anterior capsule axis, and well dilated pupil. It's not advisable to perform flip and chop technique in shallow anterior chamber, poor pupil dilatation, polar cataract, or small anterior capsule axis. In summary, this flip and chop technique is safe, efficient that uses less phagal power, less operating time, and it reduces the complications Thank you for watching.